All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, create a web form on AWeber. Uh, this is uh, one of my uh, AWeber accounts. Uh, you'll see I do have uh, just a lot of lists on this one. Uh, not a lot of opt-ins. I think I got maybe up to f almost five grand on this, this particular AWeber. But anyway, go up, click Add New. I'm on dial-up, which is good for this video. It gives me a time to fill in the gaps and catch up on the audio if there's something I need to talk about. Uh, sometimes uh, people don't realize I, you have to record the audio at a different time than video. And so having this load time gives me some extra time. All right, now you see a little green box that comes up. And first of all, look at all the red boxes. Uh, those are for different lists I have on this AWeber account. And if I wanted to get any of them, I would just hit the deactivate button. But I don't. So I'll go back up, and what, in fact, what I want to do is create a new list. Hit the green uh, button that says create a list, create list. And uh, what will happen is a box will come in, a new window will come in. And basically at this time, I want you to look at something. Uh, this is uh, where we're going to create the list, but first thing I want you to see on this page. It says there's no reply address. Uh, that comes up automatically. It just means you haven't entered an email address to this account. Uh, fill in the email address. Uh, prospects, when re they receive an AWeber uh, email from you, and they reply back to you, this is the email address it will go to. So make sure it's an address that you check regularly, at least once a day. All right, uh, put your name in. Uh, click the From Reply and click Notifications. That way, when leads come in, you'll receive emails, notifications, letting you know, hey, you just got a lead. So it uh, looks like that's successful. So we have successfully put an email address and a name onto this uh, new list we're creating. Now we'll go up and uh, name the list. Right here you'll see I uh, highlighted list name. And up there on the top you'll see uh, it says managing list default 42. Whenever it says default it means you haven't named the list yet. So we'll go there and name it right now. I'll just write test list for video. That way I know that it's for this. Then I hit the save button. Now, one of the things that you want to do in creating squeeze pages is you want to make sure that your AWeber is totally in tune with that squeeze page. So all the information on your AWeber is linked up to it. And creating a list on AWeber is the very first thing you need to do. So this video is the very first thing you need to learn how to, you know, on AWeber and what you need to do basically is to create a list and get to a point where you can create web forms on it. In the next video we'll go over web forms and everything else. But this video here, uh, we're just creating a list. And again, I'm on dial up. I think I'm going to have to pause it. And I think I do pause it up here a little bit, uh, and then it'll skip forward. But for the most part, it's pretty simple making a list. Uh, you put your email address in, you put your from uh, address in, and then after that, what you do is uh, you have your name and, and all that good stuff. Uh, you just give it the list a name, like I did here. It's pretty simple. Um, and uh, I was going to skip ahead. Now you see what I have to deal with on dialog. We live in an area where we can't get high-speed internet, and we can't get satellites because we live out in the woods. So we have dial-up, but I make use of what I have. Okay, there you see I skipped forward. All right, the list is created. You see up there where it says managing list, test the list for video. That means I've, I've named the list. I put an email address to it, and I put my name on it. I'm now ready to go to uh, uh, create a web form for this list. Uh, pretty simple, how to, how to create a new list on AWeber. Uh, check it out and uh, check out the next video. See you there.